way back. Everybody in the car quiet. I'm just knowing everybody thinking. We just pulled a homicide. Homicide. See me on the news at a spot. Trying to see what they say got shot. Hey, what up, y'all? So, look. This story time. This this true, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, uh, what happened was, I went, I took my ex to the movies. Well, a girl I was going with. I don't even want to claim it as my ex. I took her to the movies. We went to watch um, Suicide Squad, and it was a good movie. So we watched the movie. She um fell asleep. You know how girls is. She fell asleep. I was watching it. Um, so she was asleep. Then she missed most of the movie, though. Like, she missed a lot of it. stuff that was good. Good scenes she missed. And then I, I woke her up when it was over. We had left, went to the bus stop. So, yeah, we left the movie, right? And then we went to the bus stop. We was all the way in. Um, Southgate, we watched a movie over there, Southgate, and it was late at night, bro. I'm talking about people over there driving cars fast at night, because it was late, it was like 11 something, and you know, they driving their whips, you know what I'm saying, they over there having fun, because the police weren't really out like that, the streets was clear, they having fun, and I, I liked it, they was lit. But we on the bus, and I'm thinking like, damn, it's late. She got to go home. I'm like, I don't know if I could let you go home by yourself. It's late as fuck. Anything possible, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I told her like, nah, you have, I'm going to have to go home with you. Tonight, but I didn't know it was going to keep going like that three other nights and shit, and it keep going like that five nights and six, but okay, so yeah, we, I told her I'm going to her house, she like, is that all right, you, you'll be able to or whatever, I'm like, I'm going to tell my dad the reason, tell my parents, whatever, it's late, man, like, I don't, it's, my, it's pervs out here, you know what I'm saying, it's pervs, they, they everywhere, they everywhere, everywhere I look, I see one. He looking at me, I'm looking at him. <laughs> but yeah, like, I was overprotective about that, you know what I'm saying? So we going to her house. That's how it was. I, we took two buses. And you know, the buses stopped running around like 12. That specific bus, the second bus, it was going to stop running around like 12 something. So luckily we got to the bus stop around like 12 o'clock. Then that bus, no, it didn't come. It didn't come. We had to walk to her house. We had to walk plenty blocks to her house because the bus didn't come. And um, I had to wait because we was walking to her house. And I was in the backyard waiting. She had to open the back door. But she was checking to see if her dad was woke or anything. And then um, so her dad wasn't woke. And it was dark as shit in there. Like, when she... I was waiting outside for a minute, too. My fault. I keep, like, backtracking and shit. Like, I go for it, backtrack. Well, my fault, y'all. But, um... It was dark as hell in her kitchen. Like, to be honest, I, I remember her holding my hand. Yeah, she had to hold my hand. I got me some Mickey D's, man. Excuse me. So yeah, I couldn't see shit. Like she had to hold my hand. I'm like, I can't wait to I get to her room. Still couldn't see shit. Like she opened the door. I thought I'm thinking she gonna turn the light on, but actually she kept the lights off. She was being smart, you know. And she, I turned my phone on so I could see. And she just said, "Lay down." Her bed was like against the wall. I'm like, what the fuck you mean, lay down? So I laid in her bed. Her bed was steep as hell. Like, it was like, it sunk in. So when I got in, 
I'm like, what the fuck? Like, cause I, I went down too fast into the bed. I'm like, what the hell? Quick sand bed. No, let me stop. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't. I I I, let, I laid down. I was on my phone. She had to go to the bathroom. She used the bathroom there. Next thing you know, her motherfucking ass come back with two styrofoam cups and it had Sprite in it. I didn't know what it was at first. And she was like, you want some soda? I'm like, yeah. So we drink that or whatever. Dude, I'm just on my phone. We settled because we just got to her house. And I'm on my phone, we both on our phones. Not really talking like that. Not talking like that. Because you don't want to sound, be too loud or whatever. So, we hit like 10 minutes in there. Okay. And then that's when it... Pfft. All I know is, they started off with a kiss. Started off with a kiss. It went from there. Next thing you know, both of us naked. It went from there. Next thing you know, covers had to come over us. It went from there. Yeah, that's that night, y'all. Like, we started getting freaky or whatever. Mm, doing what we had to do. Well, we didn't have to, but we wanted to. It's like, she, she like, you know what? You deserve this. You went home with me. You deserve it. I'm like, come on. You know, but, um, yeah, so, dog. Okay, we do what we was doing or whatever. Then we go to sleep or whatever. We fell asleep. And we cuddled or whatever. Y'all know how it is. Uh, the next morning. Okay. When I tell y'all... This was one of the scariest situations I've been in, in my life. Dude. The, the next morning, her dad was taking her and her little sister school shopping. Dog. She didn't tell me this. Like, that night, she didn't tell me. So I'm like, what you mean? School about to come in here. I mean, I think I was naked. <laughs> well, I think I had no pants, no shorts on or nothing. Yeah, I didn't have a shirt or shorts on. And she left out the room. You know, she was talking to her sister. They left out the room. All I know is, I hear the door knock. I hear the door knock. Because she told me, she was texting me. She was like, get under the cover. Make sure you ain't doing this and that. But she didn't tell me, don't breathe hard. <laughs> and that's one thing I automatically know not to do. I know how to be quiet as hell. Like, I'm good at that. You know, I wasn't going to be laughing. This shit ain't funny. So, I'm quiet as hell, making sure my breathing is consistent, but also low. Uh, yeah, I'm under her cover. And since the bed is steep, I was I got away with it, you know what I'm saying? Because her dad came in. He came in. He dropped something off on the bed. That's what he did. Yeah, he threw something at the bed. Even if it hurt, I don't remember. I didn't move. I didn't give a fuck. So, cause dude ain't about to shoot me. No. So yeah, that happened. I got a chicken right here, y'all. So yeah, um, that shit freaked me out. And then they finally left. So after that, they left. She was texting me. She was like, uh, I was like, you think I should leave? I'm not gonna get caught. So I actually, you think I should leave the house and then come back and pretend like I never was there?
at first she was like, what the fuck are you talking about? I was like, it wasn't making sense to her until I explained it. Because I knew how to get away with it. So I left out the back door, made sure I locked the doors. Nobody was in the house. And then what I was doing for so long, just walking around the block. I didn't know about her neighborhood, so I'm just walking around the block, bored as fuck. Oh, y'all know what's up? My phone's off, too. I had a job with my phone off. Oh my God. This is going hard. It's going hard. It's a classic. Oh, my God. Go to McDonald's and get you that classic chicken salad. See, my phone's on. So I'm looking lame, bored as hell. Listening to music that I got in my Ben Willow library. So, when she did say they was on their way, what I did was, so her house facing this way, right? And then, I was in the alley. I was in the alley. Yeah, I was in the alley. So when she said they was on their way, I made sure I could see that her car pull up, whatever. Her dad had a black truck. So they pulled up. Then I just came off the side, you know, the side of the block. I came off the corner, basically, and turned, walked towards their house. And then, uh, what happened? Oh, I actually, like, stayed away from her house, like, a distance away from her house until she went in and came out because she had to put some stuff up or whatever. Oh, I'm like, that's still crazy. We started talking about it. I think I actually met her dad that day. Yeah. And I went home. Man. You know, I think I went to my, um, yeah, I went, did I go? To my mom's house, went to my mom's house. She asked me what happened, and I told her why I had stayed at her house. My mom didn't like this shit. But I told her the reason, y'all, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that shit was scary, man. It, you know, thank you all for watching this, though. Thank you all for watching the story time. I hope you all watched the full video. Whoever did, I appreciate it. You know, just listening. You listening. You know what I'm saying? You can learn from this. Just never sleep in someone's house. I don't care how old you is. Don't sleep in somebody's parents' house if they don't know you. Just don't do it. It's mad disrespectful. I shouldn't have did it. I learned from my mistake. Because I could have died. I actually could have died. My life was at risk. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, just don't do that, y'all. Um, Like I said, I thank y'all for watching it. It definitely was a living learning situation. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I was going to say something else. What was I going to say? Oh, so in the comment section, describe a situation. Y'all been in like that. If y'all ever been in a situation like that where either it was with a girl or anything else that was kind of scary, you know, heart pounding, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's it, Halo, Halo family. Man, all we gonna do is have these story times and, you know, these videos coming. I'll see y'all. Y'all have a great rest of y'all day. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Peace out.